As the 1990s began, change was the order of the day. There were changes in Washington, changes in Hollywood, changes across the globe, and changes very close to home as well. In January 1991, the standoff between Allied forces and Saddam Hussein escalated into combat and the liberation of Kuwait began. Most Americans watched the attacks by Allied forces as they happened on CNN. Despite a successful liberation of Kuwait, economic turmoil at home could not be overcome and President Bush was defeated by Arkansas Governor Bill Clinton for the White House in 1992. Weather had its wrath during the 1990s with the devastation of Hurricane Andrew as well as monstrous tornado that swept through Oklahoma City. Earthquakes devastated both San Francisco and Los Angeles as well. Oklahoma City will be struck again by a different tragedy when the federal building was bombed by terrorist Timothy McVeigh. Social, political, and economic upheaval were the norms of the times and to a certain extent that would be the case at Bethel as well. Dr. Bruce Ramoser began his ministry April 11, 1990 after spending many years on the mission field in Argentina. He and his wife Auburn and their family had ministered there from 1968 to 1983 with the International Mission Board known then as the Foreign Mission Board of the Southern Baptist Convention. Dr. Ramoser brought a passion for missions and the spreading of the gospel to Bethel, just as previous pastors had done. The ministries of the church continued to grow and expand as more and more people came and were touched by Bethel, the house of God. Music continued to play an important role in the life of Bethel. During this time, Elaine Everhart served as the music director for the church. Reaching out to students and children was important as well. Ron Monteith and Tim Lansey were youth directors during this time period. The Bethel Christian Preschool, which was founded in 1981, continued to expand and minister to the families and children of Ellicott City and beyond. Mary Ann Stetler had served as preschool's director until 1994 when she was succeeded by Linda McCargo. Linda would continue in that role until 2001 when she stepped aside and was replaced by Michelle Abernathy. But the 21st century began full of hope and promise. And as Bethel began her fifth decade, spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ remained the focal point of her heart and mission.